going live. I'm breathing. <laughs> she, we're live now. And we're backwards. Yeah, we're always backwards nowadays. I don't get it, but whatever. But I don't think we're backwards to them. No, we're not. Okay. We're only backwards to you and I. Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. It is Sunday, April 7th, the day before the, the one eclipse. solar eclipse. You think that we had never had one. Ever. Ever. I mean, like, this is like the first time... Anybody has ever seen the sun and the moon cross paths? And actually, you know, we had a partial one here seven years ago. I know. Yeah. Uh -huh. But this not, is... Not like what's going to happen tomorrow, but... They have them every... They're, they're all going on all, all the, time, the time, all over the world. But because it's going through from Texas all the way through Maine, and everybody's all excited and, and all worked up about it. And Made in America on ABC has been going to these little places and all the glasses. And do... Oh, careful. I'm just bringing it down a little notch. That's okay. all. Um, and do um, wear your glasses because I've been in several. And the one in the Pacific, but we were close to the equator... And so that sun was very intense anyway. Yeah. That one um, definitely needed your glasses for that one. What, the one we saw up in the Faroes in the Northern Hemisphere, it was a cloudy day and that clearly worked out. So if it's cloudy tomorrow and you've got enough clouds, um, the glasses are not necessary because the clouds kind of cover it a little bit for you. But the minute it comes out of the clouds, you're going to need those glasses yeah. Um, because of that intense rays that goes through. But yeah. it's, it should be, it is an interesting phenomenon. Could you imagine, though, when you didn't know, like, what was, all those years ago, all these people, and all of a sudden you're working Yeah, like 100 the years ago, and all of a sudden hundreds you're in the field. Hundreds and hundreds, yeah. and you're out in the field toiling in the field. And now and all, all of a sudden, sudden you darkness? look up and there's darkness. And, and you That would be really strange. The world is coming to an end. And mm, yeah. You know, and it... It, it lasts. Would it would seem a lot longer. It's four. It's about a four-minute totality. Uh, three since to four three, minutes. Yeah. Yeah, three and a half to four minutes. So. Um, Hopefully, I'll get home in time to see it. They're not giving you the day off. No. Holy crap! Everybody's got the goddamn day off tomorrow. No. Schools are closed. I have to go to work. Schools are going letting out early. Well, I mean, they're, they're that letting, I can understand. They're letting us out early, so hopefully we. Yeah. can. Here we get should out see and it get here home in Indiana. We should see it's supposed to be in Cleveland. Morning, Nancy. Uh, in Cleveland, about three o'clock, something like th Cleveland, three fifteen. So somewhere between two two forty five and three o'clock, we yeah. should get it here. So it it'll be crossing over from Carbondale, Illinois, to Cleveland was the next um, number that they gave. Yeah. So anyway, hi, Nancy. How you doing? California, sorry, you're only going to get like 20% of this. Yeah. But that, you got it a few years ago. It went from Washington this way, Washington State down this way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They travel in different directions as well, they, of course. they work around the world. And some of the companies, our favorite little yarn shops, finally decided, one of them decided to do it. A little bit later on in the notification, um, it's like they might not have read the newspaper for a few weeks. And yes, I'm going to pick on you, Miss Brenda and Heather, um, because they came out with their their eclipse yarn, and mine came Saturday. I mean, last Saturday. Well, I mean, at I'm least supposed to get it done before the eclipse. you can't. There, it's you know it's, you can't. I might have if I had. But a it is shop. really cool color. Yes, and it's even better because they gave and I forgot to bring the little ring that shows what it stitch. Yep. It stitches out and what it's going to look like. Left that at home and forgot. Four eight twenty four. The eclipse. They put that on a little ring with it, so that I can put that on my shawl here. Nice. So I decided to start a shadow shawl. Which you really can't tell. In the shadow. In the shadow. Because we'll be in the shadow. It's going to create a shadow. Um, a shadow shawl. This is from it. And I did wind it all by myself. And believe me, it's a mess. So 
I think what I may have to start just paying for them to go ahead and wind it because if we're not going to be here every week, it's, it, it probably pays because I made a What do they charge a dollar? No, some, some Stephen B charges six dollars. Yeah, well. Anyway, I broke my little spinny thing and it fell off. And so I got this all caught on it. But anyway, here you go. So it's a nice, pretty brown, and it has some pretty yellow in it, and it has some tan in it, and a little orangey color. See, here's some yellow. Color. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> really fun. All going to a straight out black. Straight out brown. Very dark black. brown. No, it's That's brown. Black. It's brown. It's brown. Look at you've got black on. This is brown. Heather, Brenda, tell her it's brown. Anyway, brown to black. Love the name. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yes. How perfect. How do you guys think of that? I would have never thought of that. It's uh, so good. Simon and Garfunkel? Yeah. That's where it's from. That I did know. And this is, you can tell. I, this is your daily chart? Is it? Is this the daily? Yeah. Daily done? Yeah. It's where I started it. The first, the, the first, the next day, the next day, the next day, next day, next day, next day. And then I got. Hey, I recognize most of those. You think you know where they came from? <laughs> <laughs> See there? So this is going to be my crazy project for the next few days because I want to get this done. And I will work on it tomorrow. We're actually having my sister and brother over. We got fun glasses um, from Amazon that you can't even get anymore. <gasps> oh, my God. It's the same thing, but, you know, done with actually two colors. Yeah. How it's supposed to be done. Um, when you get up here, you might see some of it. I was kind of hoping once I started. I told her, I said, why didn't you pull from the center and from the outside? That way you would have had the black and the yellow. All together. Alternating. Yeah, I know. But, and then it, it didn't, yeah. I don't she know. keeps I, pulling things and making it worse. I did. Never mind. But I did read on the internet how to keep your end so you know where your end is. Look, you, I see these little, you know, these little crazy little clips. The hair get clips that you that some people can wear in their hair. Yeah, yeah. it's called a hair clip. Yeah, see, a barrette. She can wear it. I don't have enough hair to use it. And you can take and put it at the end of your yarn. Well, wait, when you know where it is. It's around here somewhere, guys. Hold on. I'll find it. Don't worry. It'll pop it's up because it's black. She can't see it. Well, no. It was close to this. Here it is. See? See? There it is. Put it with there. Wrap it around. And then and clip it like a piece of hair. And clip it like a piece of hair. And it stays put. Then you always know where your beginning and ending is. Isn't that cool? Ta-da! That's my tip for the day. Woohoo! <sighs> so that's what I've been working on. I had a tooth pulled on Wednesday. Uh oh. Yeah. Believe me, I felt it. She had to dig and dig. Oh, it hurt so bad. Not during, she kept me very numb. She numbed me twice. But oh, afterwards, and you know it hurt me almost as bad as you know, because you're like pulling and you're you're pulling and you're dropping your draw. Well dropping your drawers. Yeah. And this part up here is like going uh, screaming at me and so i got home from the dentist put on my chammies and have been in my chammies until this morning slept well, on the couch so ice on my tooth my husband says to me yesterday was deb coming over tomorrow and i said gosh i haven't even texted I confirmed i can't remember i don't know like i've slept since then <laughs> So I sent her a text yesterday. Did you? Are we podcasting tomorrow? Nothing. Nada. I didn't see Zip, it. Zilch. Nada. I didn't see it. Um, and then this morning, my husband says, Deb coming over? Well, I, I don't know. Um, she hasn't texted back. So we'll see. You didn't look at my phone. This is why I didn't have anything up and going and ready because I wasn't sure. It's Okay. The other problem. It's all good. You were in your pajamas with a pack of peas on your cheek. 
Uh, yeah, ice and 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 um, sleeping on the couch, and I had my phone off ninety percent of the time because the way I was laying, my uh, sensor is over here. Yeah, and the way I had to lay to keep the ice on it, I was was compressing it so it wasn't getting a signal so it kept going off so i turned the whole phone off so i wouldn't get any right. signals <laughs> every time i fell asleep i would doze off and all of a sudden it would go ew, 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 ew. lost signal right. and i'd be like shut the fuck up shut up and so i turned to get some thing off. here i was ready to throw it across the room <laughs> so anyway back to business today is palm palm sunday palm palm sunday yep and just for the occasion, I'm going to take notes with my our pom 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 pens. pens. We didn't make these. No, no, these we didn't make. I got these at a dollar tree. But I am making one right now. She's for making yellow. one for you, so she's going to show us how to do it, <coughs> so that we have different kinds of pom poms, like we were talking last week, that you can thread this through the top of the hat. With See? a crochet hook. With a crochet hook. It's easiest to do with a crochet it, hook. Yeah. And then you could put a button on the inside and then tie it off. And then you have your palm. What do you think? You think this goes with this? No, I don't think so. So they have that. And it comes with, I don't know how long they want you to thread this. Look at this. I think somebody well, ran out somebody of probably, Somebody probably complained that there wasn't enough. <laughs> this is how it works with every company. Somebody complains about something, and so then we're going to overdo it now. Then it's overkill. Then I say, okay, fine. I'm okay, each one gets 36 inches. <laughs> Fucking yard. Put a yard of string on each one. So that they have enough, enough of it. This one came a little strange. This one actually has ribbon. Oh, I kind of like the ribbon. I do, too. I've never actually... So I went. she's showing bag. the different types of ones you can purchase. Yes. You can purchase these. Like so the kind with the string, you can you can you can actually pull that through the top of anything on two different things and just right. tie it in a bow. Yes. Um, you don't want to tie it in a knot and clip those uh, strings off because right. you do you don't want to wash those when you wash a hat or something. Right. You want to take the pom pom off and then wash it. Right, exactly. So don't clip them. Um or right. Don't right. clip them super short. Okay. Um, there's another um, school of thought is to take a button, at least an inch size button, and thread this through the two sides you sew and a then tie. Yeah, you sew a button on the inside of your hat here. And then thread this. And then when you put your pom-pom on the top here, you will tie it around the button. Right. With it, keeps, it keeps it uh, more snug to the top snug. of your yeah. hat. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's another way. And then there's another way that I read about. I like the it. button technique. I do too. But somebody who has a lot of hair like me, and mm -hmm. if you pull the hat down to your head, you can um, snag your hair on the button. Oh, see, I never even realized that because I don't have enough hair to snag on anything. So it doesn't make any difference. Doesn't make any difference for you. Well, and I've also read that some people, if it has the elastic, which I guess I didn't bring one of those, it has an elastic band. You can run, put the button a little bit off to the side and then wrap the elastic band around the button. Okay. Because you can't put the button... Yeah. Oh, this isn't an elastic. It's not an elastic band. But, but it, they come. This is almost not, this like is that. not enough. This is not enough. No, that wouldn't be enough. What I would do with this one would be I'd tie some thread or something way up here. I'd reach I would it. just I would just or run I would run a needle I would run through. dental floss through the entire pom pom. Yeah. It's just like a a batting core. Yeah. So you can run a, a tapestry needle all the way through. Yeah, you if can. Need be. If need if need be. be. Yeah, you can. Show me the snap kind. You got a snap and one And I here. have a snap one over here. So this is my preferred. If I'm buying a pom-pom, I would prefer to have it with a snap on it because you can, you, you literally you sew one part of the snap exactly. onto the hat and the other part stays on the pom-pom. This right. is my preferred way. Right. Um, and they're very strong magnets. 
except if you want to sew the uh, uh, one of those on, you it can be very difficult. Oh, onto the pom pom. Onto the pom pom. No, one, I wouldn't do that. I would. The trick to do it that <coughs> I learned over the years is you have to almost you have to wet the fur. So it's totally out of the way and you use a curved tapestry needle because you don't care if it goes way over here and you want to use a very, very heavy duty thread. Dental floss. Dental floss. Works or, really good. Or, or upholstery thread. Mm -hmm. And you don't need a lot because it's not going anywhere. No. You don't need to go around it 66 times. No, no, no. Once, twice, and Tops. you're fine. And again, usually there's four to five to sides. Scissors. If you do every other on your snap, you should be okay. You don't even have to do every one. Unless you're one of these who washes your hats every week or something like that and wear it with a dirty head. I don't wear a dirty head. Now. You don't wear a dirty head? Well, I mean, my hats don't get dirty because I don't usually wear a dirty hat. I mean, my hair is, never mind. I know what I'm trying to say, but it's not coming out. That's because my dementia is kicking in. Oh, baloney. Yeah. You're very. so full of shit. No, I'm not. She says I'm full of shit. I'm not full of shit. I got rid of all of that this week, thanks to my medication. <laughs> a couple of times was a little bit messy. Oh, but. That was T um, and that totally TMI, wasn't it, guys? That was a little T TMI. But they do say they do say that um, if you put a, if the pom pom is the same um, thread as the hat, and you should you can leave it on, meaning like this is Rios, and I would wash it. Even though it's super wash, I throw it in the washing machine and then lay it flat around the head to dry. You know, I, w I wouldn't take the pom pom off if it's the same. What about you? Um, I take the pom pom off. You always take the pom pom off? I do. Okay. Only because the ends of the pom pom are going to fray more if they get wet and then sure. dried. True. So then you could look like you have a felted pom-pom if it's worsted. That's true. I mean, if it's all wool. Well. Yeah, that's true. I never thought about that. I haven't had that issue yet, but that could be an issue. And I don't want any issues. But otherwise, I mean, you could like dip your hat, hold the pom-pom and wash the hat part mm -hmm. and not get the pom-pom wet. You could do that. Oh, yeah, you could. Yeah. Totally. Easily do that. Put a plastic bag around it or something like that, too. You know, you could do, there's plenty of ways to do that so that it wouldn't necessarily, you know, I, holy cow, what are you doing? Well, okay. So she should explain just, to you what you did. Yeah. Well, and I, 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 I messed up. Uh oh. Um, and I didn't fill the one side enough. You want some more yarn and we can get no, no, no. another one? No. Okay. I'm fine. I just, I clipped it to bring it over back over to, so you see how this side is much plumper than this side. Okay. So I started on this side, that side. Okay. That so you, you see. take this and, and then you fold them all the way open. out like a long chain. What are you doing? I wanted to show them. What is it like this? It's like this. Oh, okay. So you've got two pieces. So these are the clover pom poms okay. makers. Okay. So you open it up like this. Okay. And you start wrapping yarn around this side. Both of them. Yeah, together. Okay. And then you, once you fill it up, you close that side and you bring your yarn over to the next side and you fill that one up. Okay. So this is where I'm at. Okay. This side is full. Right. But I did, I started on this side and it just. It got all unwrapped. I did it again. Um, no, I was right. This side just isn't as full as this side. That's okay. So I clipped it. 
to bring the yarn back around over to the first side um, and put more, put more on there. Okay. Now, literally, you can fill this up until this part right here is full. I don't always fill it all the way to the to to a flat, you know, where it's flat across here. Um, but you certainly can. It'll make a very, very, very big, fluffy pom pom. But I didn't want to have a lopsided pom pom, so I filled the other side a little, little fuller. So I just snipped that connector in between the two and brought it back around. Okay. Okay. So which is good. I'm just putting a bunch more on here. That's okay. I got a bunch left. Yeah. I wasn't going to do anything with it anyway. So I'm filling it to about that. And it's about that puffy. Okay. So they look pretty even. Yeah, they do. Okay. So I'm going to try and do this so that you guys can see. Just clipping that off. I have the whole thing made. Don't freak out. Nothing's going to happen at this point. It's not not going to unravel. It's not going to fall apart. Everything is together here. And you literally go in and start clipping, clipping your yarn. It is not going to fall apart. Everybody thinks oh, it's going to, you know, there's nothing holding it there anymore. It's going to fall apart. It's not going to fall apart. I promise I've done this 150 times, I've never had one fall apart on me. Heather responded to me. Hi, Heather. She said, we knew the eclipse was coming for a long time. <laughs> Just wasn't sure what a striping or gradient colorway would look like. Inspiration hit late. <laughs> I know. It was the same thing, me looking for a pattern. I was like, what the hell can I do? And it's black to yellow. Oh, yeah. To orange. It's black. I, I it thought it was black. brown. It can't look it brown. Goes wow. black. It when... goes from black to brown to gold to yellow. Anyway, okay. it's the bestest, Heather. It really is. And I love your yarn. So this is what it looks like once you get it all snipped. Okay. At this point, do not open this up because you will have 150,000 pieces of yarn everywhere. But this is what it looks like now. Here's where I say to use the dental floss, but I do use with the same color yarn. This is a natural fiber. So you can't, if you pull it tight, it's going to break because it's a natural fiber. But if you add dental floss to it, like this, now you have something that is not going to break. And minty fresh, no. <laughs> and minty fresh, too. So then you take it in the middle here and you tie it off. I'm trying to do it up here so you guys can see it. But normally, while it's still on, while it's still on, so I do one regular, like, really good yank, give it a yank, then turn it over and I do a double knot on the other side. Okay. She makes the best pom-poms ever. So I do like a like a four square knot. I don't know what it when you double it over twice because that one grabs and it really pulls. pulls. Okay, so I have that double knot there, and I'm gonna do another double knot right on top of it. Okay. Okay. That's like a square knot, I think, is what it's called. Heather, I'm glad it's black because I have a black dress to wear it with. I was just going to wear the black with the brown, brown with the black. And you need a bumblebee, and like. And then you need a bumblebee. Oh, okay. Okay. So, that works. So, knot it on one side, flip it over, do a double knot on the other side twice, and you, you're good to go. Literally, you're good to go. Then you. Well, had I, like, actually cut everything. <laughs> it helps. It does help. It's those connectors. I had, and I'm using kitchen shears too. Yeah, that's a little bit different. Oh, magic. Yeah. Look, there's nothing there. Mine never come out like that. Never. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they would. 
they would if you just filled them up fuller. Most people think, um, I didn't get all of them. I wasn't paying attention. I was watching you guys. Um, I didn't get all of the yarn off. Okay. I still didn't get all the yarn off. Good lordy. She's new at this, guys. She never done it before in her life. Not once. <laughs> Not once. You know, when you're doing something on camera. Well, it's always going to screw up on camera. We don't script. If we script it, it'd be different. Here's your pom-pom. There's my... See, look! Look how cool this is! And I don't like super over trim. I just take the ones that are really out of there. Because otherwise people are like, you didn't make that pom-pom. They don't believe you made something that pretty. But now she has a pom-pom that can go on to this hat. She does. I'm trying to get, make a mess over here. That's a good yarn pom pom. That's a good. That's how you do it, guys. That's how. You, that's how you do it. And these. This is why I like these because they come apart. Part? What do you mean? They come apart. Oh. Oh. So when you're taking that off, yeah, you, you pull just it apart. You just pull it apart, and the pom pom falls out. Do you know that you can use a fork? You can use a fork, which makes one about this size. Yeah. These are great. Um, I've used this size I use a lot for like baby hats where you do the, the, the three on top. These make perfect little baby hat size ones. If you're doing a one pom pom on a baby hat, I use this size. And then if I'm if I'm wanting a super big, chunky yarn pom pom, this guy. I'm gonna make these are all clover. made. These are all by Clover, and I. The Clover I will ones swear are by the best. these. Yeah, I, I have will swear by them. My grandma stick. used to have us make them on a piece of cardboard. You can use your hand. A donut piece of cardboard with one little slit in it, and we would have. Actually, it was two pieces of cardboard because right. then she would cut in between the pieces of cardboard and tie it around that. But she had us fill those up until there was no. Yeah, in the center. Yeah. We used to do in my, in my it was round around our hand. Then we trim it and then we just lay it out on oh. the top and then tie it um, oh. when we got to what we wanted yeah, that's, to do. That, that's that was not very make a old very, fashioned. That's not a very pretty pom pom either. No, it wasn't a very pretty pom pom. <laughs> then this one, they said you go through the middle. Oh, I probably need a needle. No, you're not going to go through the middle. You go through. You have to have an even number of times. And the only reason I know they're called times is because I call. I watch Pretty Woman. Two times, three times. Remember, mm. he says that's Pretty Woman. And you tie this like so. You're acting like they can see what you're doing, and they can't. Hey, she's doing this on a fork. See, I'm tying a fork right down the center here. You're so funny. Wait, guys, don't. Wait, I'm doing it, but I'm not as talented as you. I'm a little bit of a mess at times. Then you see, it's on the fork. This is what she has done. That's what I did. And you have to have an even number. So you go in there. You anchor it to it, and then you cut the sides. I think you do it after you take it off. I think it could make a flower, too. That's not going to be a very good pom-pom. It's a great pom-pom. It's probably the best pom-pom anybody has ever seen. Right, guys? Right? My pom-poms are usually pretty sick. <laughs> they look like they do. Octopus. Yeah. Looks like an octopus. <laughs> That's what your pom poms usually look like octopuses. <laughs> she comes over and she's like, I made a pom pom. I said, You made an octopus. It's what you made. You made an octopus. <laughs> Give me that yarn, damn it. Uh, okay, it needs more yarn. But it needs a little more yarn, but now you get the essence of a little pom pom. 
It definitely needs a little shaping. Well, so what? Let me shape. She's going to shape it for me. Now I got a pom-pom. See, this is why I wanted to have this discussion because now I get no, a pom-pom. She, I have a pom-pom for my hat. She gets she gets the benefits. I got the benefit from having it for my hat. See? I'll just take my little old crochet Let's hook that I have sitting here. Shape this up a little to look a little bit more like a pom-pom. To make it look like a pom-pom? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Maybe we can. What so did you guys, guys have a good Easter? I was just going to say, did you guys have a good Easter? Did you miss us? We missed you. It was weird being home last Sunday. It, I, I, I was at my in-laws. Yeah. Yeah. We had potatoes and ham and, um, cucumber and Mott's, uh, what are, what are the little Mott's Rolla balls called? Um, Bocon, Boconcini. Boconcini. They had little teeny tiny mozzarella balls. They do? Yeah. I didn't know So that. we had tomato, cucumber, and mozzarella salad. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, it was good. With balsamic vinaigrette on it. Oh, of course, nice. she, my mother-in-law, bless her heart, <laughs> she pulled up a recipe for... How many of you say that about your mother-in-law? Cucumber, her heart? tomato, red onion, bocconcini with a vinaigrette dressing. She pulled up a recipe for it. And she chopped up all the vegetables beforehand. Look at that. Ta-da! Nice. And it moves. Yep. I like this. Yeah. You did good. You did great. Thanks. <laughs> She's hired. What do you think, guys? Just send it to post office box. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a post office box. I should. But I don't. But she doesn't. Not, let I me, don't. Let me put my arm now that you from, that I made a total exactly. mess over you, here. She pulled out 48 yards of yarn to do that. I couldn't get to the end because, you know, where do you guys pull from? I'm a center pull person. Well, on this type of yarn, yes. Center pull. Well, even on this type of yarn. No. Outer. Well, I did, but then I got all this brown, and then I'm never going to get to the other color. You're not even so. to the brown yet. You're still in black. Well, I'm still somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. Believe me, Heather, I will I will have it done, and you will see it on here, and you guys will get total credit for it because it is the bestest. It's a different weight yarn, though. I think. They use, I think it's a little bit lighter than what they normally use for some reason. No, no, Heather, tell us. Tell her. Tell, tell us. Is it standard sock or is it something something new, something different? I don't know. I just had to have it. That's all I, I think know. you need a pom-pom in this color. For what? I don't know. Okay. It'll go with some hat that you make. I'm sure there's something somewhere <laughs> in, the, in my vastness of stuff that I have. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so uh, anyway, yeah, it was an interesting week. Um, Tuesday, we had horrible storms around here. It was just pouring rain and everything. At 5 o'clock in the morning, the phone rings in my house. My sister. Oh, yeah. The yeah. youngest one who lives in New Albany, down by Louisville. Oh, screw Beth it. Ann. Beth Ann. She calls up and she says, I need to go to the emergency room. Okay. <laughs> go. Well, go. No, I, she needed you to come take her to the emergency room? Yeah. Her husband was in a, a mandatory conference, and so he couldn't, you know, he wasn't going to be done until noon. So in that driving rain, I drove down to New Albany. Then, which is in Jeffersonville, which is just like over the border of Kentucky, then they have a tornado like 20 minutes after I leave. However, in Scottsburg, there is the best Dollar Tree I've ever seen in my life. There's a speedway right across the street, so I don't know what exit it was, but it's really a good Dollar Tree. So if you're ever down that way, go there because it's really good. 
And but it's not better than Bucky's. No, and I haven't been to a Bucky's. <laughs> my sister tells me they actually made a road trip to Bucky's. I would too. I would too. She said I, I, there was you one know outside of Lexington. I think like people that. are absolutely out of their mind when before I've been to one. Like you're you're road tripping it to a Bucky's. Yeah. Forget you. Like <clears throat> I am not road tripping it to a gas station. I'm not. I don't care. Cool. So there's a hundred. There's a hundred. Well, great. So nobody's gonna have to wait for gas. Right. But come on, it's a gas station. No, 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 no. no. I don't know if I would road trip five hours to a Bucky's. Well, theirs was an hour and a half. But I would if I was staying overnight and doing something else. I would. What now? I would just put all of that on there. I need to wipe my nose. Because my nose is dripping. It's all these little fluffy, fuzzy things that I had put on top of. Oh, thank you, Dork. Um, yeah, I would. I would. Yeah, it, it. Their destination for sure. I guess they're putting one in Cincinnati or something like that. Are they? Yeah. Well, that's only, that's only a couple hours. That's only a couple hours. I road trip that. There's a good IKEA in Cincinnati, and there's a. Uh, really big container store and Jungle Gyms is in Cincinnati. If you've ever been out there, it is the best grocery store in the entire world. I haven't been to Jungle Gyms yet. Oh my God, it needs to be road trip. It's amazing, and I'm not a cook. Seriously, I don't. I don't know anything about what goes in what, and what, why you would use it, or any of that other stuff. I'm not a chef. I, I have no. You're not things. a cook. I have five things in my repertoire, and that's it. And one of them is a grilled cheese sandwich made in the toaster. Made in the toaster, right? But you know they even had those at, at Costco lately. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, you can't get your plastic and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just one use of these days, days of that plastic. One of the no, that's oil. Oh, okay. <laughs> So That's I can, petroleum. I can use that in my car. Okay. Listen, I can't. I can't mock anybody for using um, Velveeta because I'm a, uh, I'm a kind of sewer. <laughs> kind of sewer of, of Velveeta. Of Velveeta. Yeah, because it'll make anything creamy. Yeah, you're right. It does. You know, like if, it does. If you make bad rice, to so just put a little Velveeta <laughs> in it. Now you got cheesy rice. You know, <laughs> um, cauliflower it melts over cauliflower. Super great. Like. You can't take cheddar cheese and do that because it's real cheese and it'll it's it, it breaks. Yeah, it, yeah. It breaks and is but not Velveeta. Velveeta you can and you can make fudge with Velveeta. I mean, right. come on. Um yeah, there's there's some really bad things that are always in my uh refrigerator. Velveeta's one of them. I don't know, Tammy. Tammy wants to know, could we wash the hat just inside out? Would that make it? If I just turn this inside out, would that be well, okay? The pom pom is still going to be getting wet. Yeah, I, I probably but you probably wouldn't get as much. Oh, or put it in one of those lingerie type bags. So wash it on delicate. If you no, wash it. I wouldn't. I would not put a handmade pom pom in the washer. Oh. It's going to fall apart. Okay. Um, I might have to go home and just give it a try. <laughs> Well, one of yours definitely would fall apart. Hey! <laughs> well, um, I'll take this You know, you probably here. could. I'll put this one If you here. hand wash it, you probably could. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, that's what happens. Oh, I didn't know I did that. Yeah, they're just a bunch of short little freaking okay. things. Okay, good. Just Don't, don't pull on. too many of them out or yeah. it will just fall it apart. Will fall apart. Um, you probably could. I don't know if I'd recommend it though. I, I just, I don't know. I I've always either. just taken my pom poms off. I like. I do too, as a rule. As a rule, um, I just take them off. I the other if thing you is, have, is if you have a pom pom and a hat that you don't really have any emotional attachment to, go ahead and give it a try. See right. what happens. See, I wear the hats once or twice, and then they go in the donate pile or the giveaway pile. Yeah, I've got. I like making them, and so I have about 18,000 of them as they are. So that's See? about how much I fill these for the most part. Sometimes I go a little fuller. Okay. But then, for the most part, that's about as big as full then, as I go. Then you close the side up. You doesn't still matter have, which side you start on. 
No. Okay. You can start on whatever side. But you do want to kind of finish up on... Down here at that edge. On the farthest away edge because that's what comes up over here. Okay. And that's what you're going to start your next one with. You see what I'm... See what I mean? Okay, I mean, I got that. So you have this connector right there. Okay. And that's what I said. I cut that one so that I could go back to it, but... So then you just keep winding. So then you just keep winding and just keep winding. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. You basically keep doing this until your fingers hurt. Uh, yeah, I remember. We used to use like toilet. Now, thicker yarn, you could get this done a lot faster. Or if you have two of the same ones, just do double strands because you get it done twice as fast. Right. Or three or four, or whatever. Hmm. It's interesting. We are just developing information here that is so developing. important. And around <laughs> and around and around we go. I did get squishy yarn this week. I'm going to show you my squishy yarn. Yeah, show the squishy yarn. And then while I'm winding, you can show the newest um, Etsy shop, which <gasps> will be. It's They're not up yet, um, but they will be shortly after the podcast. This is called Susie Hot Pink. Nope. No. Fuck that Sprite. Oh, that is. Yeah, that's Susie Hot Pink. It's even named right. <laughs> this is bone yarn. This is this is highlighter hot pink. It does highlight, not show highlight. up that bright on screen, but it is. Right. Yep. Definitely my color hot pink. And this one is Borealis. Borealis. Mm. Or something. Reaches. Yeah. Or whatever. It came from Boney Yarn. He's in England. And Stephen West uses him. Has used some of his yarn. I and like I this. I love the colors because he's so bright. So super uh, highlighter colors. And yeah. here green, blue, purple, pink, um, aqua. And then all the it interlaced with black. Yeah. That's it's cool. Really kind of cool. Yeah. So you're going to do, what are you going to do? You're going to put those together, I would assume, right? Um, actually, I, 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 I figured I would. I didn't write down what I bought them for. I've been better, but I did with this time. I don't know why. But I've been better. Most of the yarn I bought this year. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> too, bad we're, too bad we're making that right now. But something, that anyway. something like that where you're doing two strands at one time. Yeah, that'd be a fun thing to do. But I did think of you. I almost bought you one of these, but you're more of a mauvey pink. No, I'm not. No? I can I can I'm any you're, pink. Okay. But that has my that has my favorite word in it. I know. Fuck that's bright. Not <laughs> only is it pink, but it says fuck that's bright pink. <laughs> I like, and then look, I even have a pom-pom to go with it. You sure do. And I have a string that's long enough to go from here to England. So anyway, the guy's name is Jan. Oh my god! It really is cute. It together. does go really well together. Oh, look, I got a whole set, guys. We'll have to do something with that. I guess I guess it's maybe you could hat. do something like the shadow shawl alternating rows like that. Yeah. With those colors. Yeah. In a hat. Oh, that would be fun. I like that. Maybe I don't know do how that. you would do the jog up. Well, we'd figure something out. Yeah. You just do it. I mean, it, you just do it like you would do By the way, we have New Jersey, Australia, Carolina, Michigan, Colleen New Hampshire, here, Tennessee. Michigan. Y'all are in the house. Here. Yeah. So, let's see. Karen said, pom-pom cool. Oh, Angela, she finally caught us live. Yeah. Uh, it is a th Heather did say it is a thinner um, fingering yarn. Okay. It is a little bit. I thought it was a little bit, I think because of the name, because I'm so used to the sock kinds that they yeah. have. And, and it threw me off because it's like flu-berry or something like that. And I thought, well, what the heck is Blueberry. this? Flu-berry. Flu-berry, yeah. It's a Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory sort of thing. Yeah. They were channeling their inner Willy Wonka. Right. So, anyway. Oh, these are little. So. Oh, my 
my gosh. I have the photos taken. I have the listing almost ready um, for these little guys. They're customizable. You can make them into rings, lever backs, lobster class, or needle huggers. But they're cute little fat. Big new cats. Little this, fat kittens. Look this fat cat here. Wow. I just she can't, can't tell it. which way to go because the screen's backwards. There we go. Look at the little fat cat. It's a little four pack. There are four different colors um, of cats, like Siamese, a tabby. Uh, yeah. They're looking and they're cute. Oh, kitties. So, nice yeah, so cats. those that's the newest one that's up. <gasps> I did put a seven pack of cats up. Oh, I think. In between last time and this time. Here he is in the little tip hugger. I'm the tip hugger. Here's the little gray one. Look at that. Oh, the little gray guy's cute. They come out really good on the tip huggers. Yeah, they're fun. For yeah, they really stitch are. For saver, tip hugger, needle yeah. hugger, whatever you want to call whatever them. Whatever you want to call them. Those are fun. Aren't they cute little kitties? Yeah. Um, But yeah, I haven't. It's, you know, it's a slow, it's a slow, slow time. So. Need to concentrate that brain on Advent. I have stuff going on that. I can't, I can't tell you guys what's going on with the Advent. I, I can only tell, tell you like the normal. I'm not telling her. She's not telling me. No, because she doesn't know how to, you don't know how to keep your mouth shut. I do too. I've known her too long. I know she was. I'm crushed. Okay, so there's that one. That's one. I'm going to get an extra pom pom today. Yep, she is. Just going to snip that guy. So, what else? Oh, got the tooth pulled too this week. So, not only did I drive down to, to, uh, freaking, um, Tennessee. Tennessee. No, Kentucky. Kentucky. Sorry. There is a new fabric type. A warehouse yarn shop there, but I didn't go because I didn't think about it. And well, and your sister was in the hospital, so you yeah, know, so it was a little bit different. I had to kind of pay attention. And then I had promised Sue's mom my old embroidery stuff from yeah, when I did cross stitch. stitch, and it was in a drawer in the downstairs bedroom. And I remember my sister asking me if I had something. We were on a trip to on the Greenland cruise, and they were leaving for Alaska. She was taking Maddie up to Seattle. Alaska, right. I'm sorry, Seattle. And so on Air Alaska. So I so I said, sure, just take what you need. She took the whole drawer. The whole drawer is emptied out. I went down there today to go through it to bring some stuff for Sue's mom. It's gone. So I called her. I said, what'd you do with this stuff from, from uh, the cross-stitch stuff? And right. She said, well, you said I could have what I wanted. I wanted it all. I said, did you use it all? She goes, no. I said, well, what did you use? She goes, well, I took some of the needles and I gave the rest of it away. I almost got in the car and drove down the beak of crap out of her for that. I'm like, Okay. But all this time I had, and this was September, I had an empty drawer. I didn't even know it. Well. I guess now I have to fill it. <laughs> Has it ever happened to you guys? I didn't even know. I mean, it's the last place I remember it was. She wants to say something so bad, but I'm not going to. You can uh, fill it. I, I no, I will give you the Susie permission to fill the drawer. Okay. However, here is the stipulation. <laughs> Let me write this down. What you actually the space that you open up, okay, in your house from filling up the drawer. Okay. You are not allowed to refill that space. It's not allowed. Well, I See, that's one of the problems is I have nowhere to put stuff 
when I do separate it and I put it somewhere, now I have a drawer to put some stuff in so that I'll have space to put the stuff they separate from some other place into there. Yes, that's fine. But then, the it's okay, space but nothing that, new. Space that you've created in the realm of the house by moving it to said drawer does not now give you permission to fill said space up again. Unless just with something that, that needs is a already, space. That's already in the house. No, 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 not. It needs it. It needs a space because it's in your car because you just bought it from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> no, no. It needs a space because it's in a walkway that you need to use to get from your bedroom to the bathroom. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll give you that. No, that's pretty clear. <laughs> I keep that that walkway to the bathroom is never cluttered, and I have to admit, there's one room in the house that never ever has any clutter in it. Bathroom. No. The master bedroom. The master bedroom. Nobody ever goes up there. It's the cleanest room in the house. And nobody sees it. <laughs> because so that's in the middle the, of the night. That's the guest room then. That's yeah. where the guests would sleep if they come over here. Because neither you or Mikey are in the master bedroom. I you am. guys. Oh, you are. Me and the dog. <sighs> yeah, me and the dog. And the reason it's kept cl so clean is because when I get up in the middle of the night, I won't fall and trip over anything. <laughs> I just don't like clutter in that room. All my clothes were put away. Everything is stacked. I even had that spot. Remember when you first had many months, you told us to clean out a section. Mikey put something there. I didn't put anything there. The top of that little dresser was empty for months and months and months. I didn't put a single thing. Now, the other side, it kept falling over on top of it because I kept stacking it over there. But I didn't put anything on that spot. He put an air filter there. So now there's something there because he felt I needed an air filter in my room. I'm like, I have a dog that sheds 24 seven. Why do I need an air filter? I'm like, eh. anyway, I think that's where my retirement money is going to go now is for air filters. Yesterday we got three boxes from Amazon. I all think air filters? All different kinds of air filters oh for God. all of the, the air filters. Yeah. I think he gave up on tires. Because he doesn't have my mom to buy tires for anymore. Oh, yeah. There's this one, guys. See, they don't really take that much time to Look, actually. How quick she did that. Actually make. Um, and and they they truly will not fall apart. I promise you. If, if you fill those sides up. Um, the trick is to filling it up is to make it you, really full. Yeah, they do have to be Don't really full. Do not be yarn. skimpy. Uh, and pom poms do take a lot more yarn than you think they're going to take. Yeah, look, because she's down to just this little bit. And I I'm looked down. at that one and went, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough, but this is about how much I have left. Yeah. I would not have had enough to do a big pom pom. No, no, there's you no way. No way. But here's how they come out looking. And I, and I just clip the, like the big ones off. And yeah. this is how they come out looking from the fork. <laughs> from a fork. From a fork. And I think it's just yeah. fine and dandaroody. I'm going to put this, hang it from my car. There you go. Window. You have another pom-pom for your pom-pom collection. Yay. I can go with some. Something. Some hat that you make. I'm going to put this one in my car. You should put a couple of drops of oil on that so you have an air freshener pom pom. <gasps> I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> hang it from your. It can be a diffuser. Hang it from your rear view mirror. Uh, I, 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 I didn't. honestly, guys, I've put on um, maybe eight, ten rows on this guy. Um, I still have quite a bit of yarn left on each color. And I vowed I was going to do this one until I was done with the yarn. I'm not. I'm not going to whatever length the pattern says to go. I'm just going to use up the yarn. Well, it's the same thing with this thing. This is 840 yards. Yeah. So, so it's, it's going to be it's a very big. Games. Yeah. So it's, it's a very games. big thing. So um, the stuff. So where are you guys going to watch the? Now we have Tennessee in the house. 
It's come from Texas. Are you guys going to watch it from home? Or are you going to go out like to a Eclipse park? you talking about? Or yeah. are you talking like Final Four or some other bullshit thing? Well, I'm surprised thing. it hasn't snowed because Purdue's in the Final Four. There was it, snow yesterday for a while. Yeah, I was just going to say, don't yeah. hold your breath. Like, <laughs> it probably will happen. I'm, I'm um, sure of it because... Tori had snow. My daughter up in Minneapolis, she had snow, 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 like last week. And then yesterday she called me on her way home from work. It was 60. <laughs> that's, that's Minnesota for you. It's, it's been weird like that. When I say snow, for snow from Minnesota, that's at least six inches. Yeah. And I, we were just talking that. That's not pansies. Just... She has pansies out there that she put out. Mikey got them to live all through the winter by just kind of covering, covering them, them up, opening up, and covering, yeah, with just plastic container to keep the yeah. cool air off. I mean, we just had a very just mild a, winter. A milk jug that she cut out the bottom on and stick a milk jug over the top of it. I never even thought about that. Yeah, just I'm cut the bottom off of them. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a good idea. It's like the perfect little greenhouse for your um, cool, cooler you weather, weather plants, plants that can handle sure. Like, yeah, I was a little concerned because I have peas um, and some lettuce -y type thing, radish stuff. And I was a little concerned because we got down to like 30, 33. Baltimore, sorry about your bridge. Been under that bridge. Oh, yeah. oh my God, that was such, yeah, oh that's... my word. How do you guys get around? I mean, I know there's 800 different bridges going through there over around. It's got to be a but nightmare it's, it's just if you're used nightmare. to going that bridge. Oh, I know. Yeah. I mean, thank God that well, and I, people paid I, attention. I heard that the Army Corps of Engineers has a plan that they can get something up mm -hmm. by May. Mm -hmm. So within a month, they could have something up and going. Mm -hmm. Temporarily for right. traffic to be able to to flow. get some flow, but the, uh, building a new bridge there is going to take years. Oh yeah, to yeah. get completed. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But it was that was like the most. You you watch the Stranger Things. They used to do that. There was a show, Stranger Things, or something like that. I mean, that to me would be like, who would have thought? Who would have thunk something like that? It's just. It was unbelievable. So, oh, there's all kinds Baltimore. of conspiracy theories on 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 that already going, which is just silly. Silly willy dilly. It's a beautiful bridge, and it's kind it of was fun. a beautiful bridge. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was <laughs> that bridge and the one in Tampa that they go underneath. The one in Tampa is cool because they put they have um, lights. It's like a light show. Oh, yeah? When a cruise ship is at. And I think they do it all the time, but I never noticed it because I was on a cruise ship, so I could see it from the water. Uh, right. When you're driving on it, you don't notice it as right, much. Right, right. So um, it, that one's pretty cool, too, to go underneath. Is Do cruise other. ships go under the Bay Bridge? The San Francisco? Bay Bridge? No. No. Yeah, the tankers come in, but I don't think our cruise ship goes under there. I think they go out from the... I think they're on an outside port. I've never seen a, a cruise ship in the Bay of San Francisco where Alcatraz is, but I've seen tankers. Yeah. You know, so like big carrying yeah. things. Yeah, um, yeah. And they definitely, a cruise ship would definitely fit under the Oakland Bay Bridge, but I don't know if it would fit underneath the Golden Gate. I, I rode a bike across it. OMG. I was she that was a bucket list thing, right? Right. Yes. It was just a bucket list. Like she had to do it. I had to do it. And I had one of those electric bikes, you know, helper bikes. Now it's not right. like a scooter bike, but it gives you that little oomph. But you still have, have to, to pedal. work. You still have you to have pedal. You have to pedal. And I was never so I wanted to get and then when we get to Sausalito, because you go across and then you go down this huge hill, which was the most fun ever. That was great. You come off the bridge and you go down and you go and you zoom and you can glide all the way into Sausalito. And I wanted to get on that boat to go back so bad. I was so tired and I parked the bike and I started to walk around and I'm walking like jelly. I'm serious. My legs were just jelly. So finally I just sat down and then I heard the honk of a horn and I almost missed the boat. I would have had to ride the bike back. Oh. And I was like, no. So I ran over there and I got on the boat just in the nick of time. So that was okay. You know? mm -hmm. So it worked out. But I did remember. Scary. 
It really is because it was a sunny day when I left. No fog on the bridge. No fog or anything. I don't know what time the fog normally comes in. Maybe it was because I was on the bridge. And you kind of wind your way up to the bridge. And then as you're going across, all of a sudden this fog came in. Oh, and great. Like, and now you're like, you can't see anything. You can't. No. And then so, and they told you, told us, if you're scared of heights, don't look down. Just look out. Just keep riding your bike and just keep looking forward. And I was doing that until I had to make a turn around one of the pylons. And I looked down and I about froze. It's so far down. You look down and you're like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. And what is it, like grates? Yeah. Oh, and God, no, opened. no, I wouldn't do yeah. it. Nope, nope, no, yeah. no, nope, no, 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 no. And you're mm -mm. like, oh, mm -mm. my God. No. And you're doing these little tight turns around the pillar things. No, thank you, And people you, are actually walking out there, and then it gets windy in the middle. No, mm -mm. no. And, oh, it was terrible. Shh. Nope, 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 and no. And then some guy was all been out of shape because a bolt came in after we he went across he was in a group and he, he was all bent out of shape and my sister and my niece mm -hmm. were in the bus that crossed and they're on the on the hop on hop off bus going hey bob bob you know and i can't wave because i'm scared to death i'm like hanging onto this bike for sheer terror and then you get across to the other quarter third of the bridge and it's as sunny as can be i don't know what happened where the fuck go? It just went away, and I'm I'm like I couldn't do this. I, I, I it was it never again. Mm -mm. And people have said, why didn't you do um, Australia when you were, went to a Sydney Bridge? She goes, why didn't you walk that? She goes, that's walking. I said, what are you crazy? I'm never going to do that one. That was after we did San Francisco. Uh -uh. No, not way. Mm, not happening at all. I mean, when I go to Norway. Someday when I go back to Norway, they have cool bridges. So I'm going to do some of that. And you know, the one in Sweden, you're on this bridge and all of a sudden you go into a tunnel. It just disappears in the middle of the water. From this side, you see a bridge, but you don't see the other end of the bridge. And you're like, is that an optical illusion? Because the bridge is out there. And then you see all these boats going over where the tunnel part is. That's freaky. It wasn't a big deal because you just drive in a tunnel. But it is kind of weird. That is. So. That anyway. is strange. That is strange. So. Do we, we have. A, do we have. I think that's it for the day. I. Yeah. Um, I have nothing else. I can babble on if you'd like. But. I. I you guys probably have stuff to do. I didn't. I didn't get a ton done. I mean, literally, you know, I did this um, when I was sitting here at, at home when my hands didn't hurt. But my hands have been so sore um arthritis i think and then the the, the, weather? the weather really makes them hurt and yeah. so i try to keep doing a little bit because okay, it, it it helps it helps but do like one row of this is now pretty big yeah um and just getting through one row is sometimes a challenge well, and you got to keep your fingers handy dandy so you can work with all these crazy so little. Can, yeah, so I can still make all the, a li the all little, these fun little things. To By the them. way, I do want to let you guys know um, I have a clearance section now that everything is 50% off in the clearance section and will be until that said product disappears. Um, disappears. Um, so, and there's some there's some really cool things in there. Um, looking better, see, because I'm fluffing it out. <laughs> make this uh, work. Yeah, like watermelon. The watermelons are in the clearance. Oh, okay. Basically, if I've had it for a year, it's going in clearance. It's going in clearance. Um, we just need to make room for new. Oh, we do. We need to make room for new. So, so that's how she does. Yep. And that's why people have sales sections. Yep, gotta make room for new and. They'll be fifty percent off for a certain amount of time, and then I might I may bump it up from there. But for Go a couple of months, for they're now, 50. at least now they're fifty percent off. So and you know. needle huggers, all needle huggers are twenty five percent off right now. Oh, the little yeah. Well, 
just needle huggers. Not, not with the ones with the charms on them. I get it. I, I, I know. Not this, the sets. Not These the are set. a, This yeah. is a set. This is this, a set. The single thing. The single thing. There. But sets, you know, some, uh, whatever. They might be on sale next month. I whatever. don't know. You never know. Um, I'm going to try and always run a sale because I like sales. She does. She just I, goes with sales. I, I do like sales. I, I shop too. on sales. See, see, she does something too much, and then that thing goes off. See? She needs some sugar. It says it's going to be low. No, if I stuck my finger right now, it would be nowhere near that number. That's going to say. Last night, you just it said had a biscuit. it was 400. Should... Last night, it said it was 400. I'm like, you just had a I biscuit. I went upstairs. I know, Danielle, it was 183. I'm like, what the hell? It's not. You're crazy. Stupid little machine. I got dumb engineers. They know what they're doing, I'm telling you. And, <laughs> and yes, he's still alive. Anybody want to know? The husband's Mike, Mike just he's fine. still alive. Yeah, he's just fine, doing okay. And he actually got something done. I actually got him to go on Social Security and figure out when's the best time and to go ahead and sign up for it. I said the difference is a hundred dollars between now and September. And if you take your social security, you're going to have like, I don't know, $12,000 between now and September. And it's going to take a long time to make up that hundred dollars a month. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, but it's a hundred dollars a month. So what? And I'm like, dude, so what? do the math. He, 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 whatever. He's an engineer. He, he should be able to do the math. He, he can do it in his head. He's like really, really smart. He's been out cutting the grass and everything. He's got fixed the lawnmower. It broke. The fancy one. So he's been walking. I said, I think it's time to fix it. He's like, yeah, I got to go get the part. It's on my list of things to do. I said, okay, let's get that tape machine out and get that roll. Ticker tape. Ticker tape of things to do. <laughs> I actually got it from our accountant. And the first time in 46 years we've been married, it'll be 46 years, 45 years, we actually had to pay the government this year. Well, I don't know. I, my outcome of my taxes is still unknown. Okay. Um, we had an appointment on the 1st. Probably that was the first sign that something was going to go wrong when you have your tax I appointment on, on April, April Fool's, Fool's Day. <laughs> um, so on the 1st, a uh, secretary or coworker, or something calls my, of the tax person calls my husband and I can hear him on the phone. We're at work. I can hear right. him on the phone. I have no idea who he's talking to. He's like, Oh no, that's, that's, that's too bad. Please send my condolences. And so I'm like, he gets off the phone Oh, and you know, he keeps going, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Absolutely. No problem. Just please send my condolences and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, he gets off the phone and I'm like, who are you talking to? And because I'm thinking, is this a salesperson? Was it like, this did not sound like the typical conversation sure. you, we would be having with, with your a coworker or, or yeah. you know, a salesperson or a sales rep calling in for, a, you know, like, and he goes, uh, yeah. Um, we're not going to the tax place at three thirty today, like we thought. Um, his dad just passed away. Oh, so yeah. sorry. Yeah. So my tax person's, you know, parent passed away, and they're not going to be in the office to what meet with us to do our taxes. Hey, Grandpa, so you they, need to stay in the freezer for so a couple So they of days. asked if we could just drop them off and they would they, get them done and contact us. They haven't contacted us yet. Oh, my word. That's terrible during tax season. I know my our tax accountant, her son had a baby. His wife had the baby like three days oh. before the end. I mean, it was one of these. She's like, I can't take your appointments on full from now until eternity you know I, you'll just have to call them and say something you know so yes we well, have to pay so but i also found out to so my my husband my, hus, my boss at work he had an issue with his tax person like they just retired They're, and i'm like 
Cindy's husband is going to drive across Iowa on his bike. Wow. Christine, you're right. Never, ever, ever. Mm -mm. Don't ever do it. It was a fun thing, but just take the hop on, hop off and tell everybody you did it. You end up in Sausalito, you get on the boat, you come back, you turn the bike. That's you need to have to a booze a booze bike cruise across that bridge. Well, that you would know, be fun. then you could say that you pedaled across, <laughs> but you were drinking a beer while you were doing it. It's tough. I'm so, I didn't think it was as steep as what it was in the car. You just just don't notice it. But boy, it is a steep. Once you even get on the bridge, it's a steep incline to get to yeah. the middle. And then once you get to the other side, sure, it's a piece of cake. But then you've got all these people in front of you who have taken the same thing like you. And the bike's just sort of giving you a little push. And it was, like I said, it was on the bucket list. And it was called stupidity. And, um, and never again. Uh-uh. Nope. Mm -mm, never going to do it. So I don't know when you'll see us again. Maybe next week. Maybe not. We'll have to see. Are you in town? Yeah. I can be here. Yeah, next week probably okay, be we'll all probably right. Okay, we'll be all right. So we'll see. We'll let you know. Watch for it. And yeah, then, and um, I this morning was such a cluster. I didn't get anything up on Instagram. <gasps> yeah, we didn't even think about that. We were busy chit-chatting. I will we try to be better, but don't, don't count on it. Yeah, yeah no, don't worry about us. Just subscribe. Hit yeah. the notifications. You'll we just sort of show up. Show up whenever. And then you're like, oh, my God, why am I watching this? What are we going to What are we gonna try and do next week? Because we show pom-poms this week. We should I don't know. try we should and try and do something. I can show that this is really brown and not black. Well, you had the dyer of said yarn on there <laughs> saying, no, bitch, it's, it's black. <laughs> anyway, maybe we'll have something else done and I might do some little work this week or do something in between. Yep. Maybe I should start. Fuck, that's bright. Fuck, that's bright pink. It is great. But look at the pom pom. It was meant to be. It was. It was meant for me to have. See? And then you tell me I buy things I don't need. Look, I needed that to go with this. With the pom pom. Yeah. And, and people. So then it, and it must be a hat. The first time I ever saw the yarn was on Stephen West. And you know how I feel about Stephen West. I ordered yarn for another Stephen West. I mean, finished the last one. I like Stephen West. What can I say? And she did, literally, the last sentence you just said was, I make fun of you for buying things that you don't need. And the next sentence she says, I bought this yarn from Stephen West that doesn't even have any plan for it. No, it's Miss Babs, actually. You said Stephen West. But it's a Stephen West pattern. Oh. But it's Miss Babs. Her pattern, her colors for the Stephen West patterns. Buy stripometry or something like that. I figured it'd be a good one to do. So. On that note, we better enjoy, let you go before she buys more yarn. Enjoy the eclipse tomorrow. Let us yeah. know how you do. And I'm sorry. If you're in the, if you're in the totality, you know, right? Yeah. Which we are. Mm -hmm. We are. We obviously know not all of you guys are. Um, And I'll, I would sit here and say, I'll try to snap a few pictures, but mine will not be do any justice. So we're just going to go with the. The, My um, sisters, um, when we were on the one on the cruise ship in Southern Hemisphere, she actually bought a special filter for her camera. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the professionals and I'll go with their photos. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to do anything special. So uh -uh, in the meantime, I'm, I'm going to sit out on my deck and knit in the dark. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. It does get dark. Temperature. Does I, get I have a I have a, a a vanilla hat going. I do not have a muscle bird going. <gasps> this has been we might have to throw for a while out group. for a while. I don't know. We might I've have always to throw had a you muscle bird going. You've got to have muscle. As you soon finish as this... one, you automatically have to start another no, one. No, I I had that other one that was a whip that I frogged that now I want to finish and make it right. Uh, but you have a hat going. A foe. So that would that, that would project fits all of those. It was a whip that it was frogged, but not all the way frogged. And then, you know, you can't fix those once you fuck them up. 
I think I better go before she beats the shit out of me. <laughs> so, Talk to you guys I, later. So she, yeah. she, it's not a touch screen. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot. Bye, guys. See She'd next, be so flustered. Bye, guys. Bye, Christine. Bye, Heather. Yeah, bye, Sandy. And um, I'm out of here. I forgot it wasn't a touch screen.